Hey everyone, Desert Gold. Uh, just uh, got some few things in today. Thought I'd do just a very, very quick. I know that never works for me, does it? Um, video. But uh, hopefully I'll stay true to task here. One of the things I got in today is a uh, holster. I got this actually off of eBay and I'm pleasantly surprised with it. It's a guy, is it Braids Holsters? Um, really nice molded uh, leather. Um, it's a pretty thick leather. Really nice stitching on it. I don't know if you can see some of that, but uh, I uh, had to get a, another holster for my Ruger LC9 because I also added the uh, Crimson Trace to this um, little guy. I thought it actually fit into the purpose of, of this weapon being a, a cloak. Being a uh, close quarters uh, self-defense weapon, uh, lasers come into um, play a lot more readily in that kind of a situation. So I like the fit of it. It goes on real quick. I know you guys have all seen this before, but you just bolt it on, screw it on right there. Um, triggers on the handle grip there. And you just, as you're gripping it, it activates the light. So, yeah, so uh, pretty cool. <laughs> um, not a pulsating light like some others that I know and don't really care for. Um, what else did I get? Um, I got a delivery from you know who. You guys have seen this company before. Got some Underwood ammo in. And uh, last week or the week before, I did show you my box of uh, Lehigh Defense uh, 100 and, what is it, 140 grain. 140 grain extreme penetrators that I will be reloading in some 10 mil cases here coming up this next week. So what did I get? Ordered in. <laughs> you guys are going to get a kick out of this one. You got it. 10 mil, 140 grain. Why in the hell would I do that? Glad you asked. <coughs> I've said it for years now that if I were ever going to count, if I were ever going to count on a supplier for my self-defense or personal load um, inventory, Underwood would be the one, and I stand by that to this day. They provide quality ammo. For instance, this one, 140 grain, the Extreme Penetrator, and they're using the same uh, they're using the same uh, Lehigh Defense bullet. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that. Focus. I don't know. There's the bullet I showed you before. So, they're using quality components. Nice nickel plate of brass. Um, again, why would I order? when I can load them myself. Well, I'm always up for a challenge. And I don't know if you can read this, but the 140 grain by Underwood is streaking out of that barrel at 1,500 feet per second. And for 140 grain, 
bullet, even with a 10 mil, to get that kind of consistent speed is is remarkable. And I'm going to see if I can uh, match that. So yeah, I'm up for the challenge. Besides which, I love their ammo. The other one I got was their 90 grain extreme penetrator for the 9 mil. And that one is coming along at 1550 feet per second. So this is their 9 mil plus P plus load. You might ask, since I reload, why am I getting that? Glad you asked that one too. Um, about what was it? A couple of years ago, I was down at my local range and uh, uh, Miss uh, Top Shot Michelle Vescuzzi came in, and we got to shooting around a little bit. And her male friend at that time uh, was there and was really into getting into reloading and um, really wanted to get into the 9 mil. So being the good guy that I was, I gifted him the uh, 9 mil die set that I had at the time. I wasn't reloading 9s at the time. I was really into um, you know, the 10s, the 40s, the 454s, the you know, the stuff that um, really sparked my interest at the time. But, that being said, now that I'm carrying the LC9, this is the one that I'm going to trust as my self-defense power. And if you guys have any doubts about it, there's a number of YouTube videos that um, showcase the Underwood 9 mils um, and their extreme penetrators. Check them out. Finally, <coughs> I um, decided to create a Red holster. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm crazy. This is. Well, let me uh, show you what it is. This is a standard Serpa CQC quick release platform on the paddle. Um, the standard Serpa, as you know, has, this is for my 9, or uh, Glock 19, but I love the Serpa holster. I like the, the retention that it has, the, the lock, um, and I actually bought a Serpa for my Glock 20. And it was during one of my uh, less than lucid moments when I had a few too many of uh, these going on and I didn't even think about a few things. One was Serpa holster does not work well with attack light. This is the TLR2S. And, um, they do have in the level two uh, serpas. They do have the uh, their light bearing holster, but it's only for their own proprietary um, light that they sell. And in that, this is, in my opinion, a far better light. I wasn't going to give this up to get another one that I didn't think compared to it, and spend the money on that and then get the holster. That didn't make sense to me. 
So then I was looking at their level three, the new one out, and uh, I was thinking, man, that's it. It's going to work. All right. Cool it, Yoda. Um, the, while the light fits, the new level threes come all the way up and over the end of the firearm. And guess what's in the way? Yeah, I'm not getting rid of my delta point either. So I was in a quandary because I wanted all of the advantages of the quick release on the Serpa, but I couldn't use any of their holsters, so I got my Cobius. And, you know. It all fits, okay. Is it my preferred preferred end game? Not by a long shot. There's a lot of things I don't like about it, but the one thing that it does do for the time being until something new comes along, you know, you can't beat this, uh, you know, quick release adjustable. You carry this any which way you want with that CQC setup. So there you have it. You have my hybrid Phobius CQC tactical light bearing, whatever you want to call it. But it works for the time being until, like I said, something else comes along. So next week, I uh, hope to be getting the challenge going with my 1500 foot per second 10 mil loads and what else I'm going to get into I don't know but until then you all have a great day great week have fun be safe stay cool